యూనిట్ వన్ లాస్ట్ టాపిక్ ఐఓటీ ఎనేబ్లింగ్ టెక్నాలజీస్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ టాపిక్ విల్ సీ వాట్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ టెక్నాలజీస్ దట్ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ ఐఓటీ సో అండర్ దట్ విల్ సీ వైర్లెస్ సెన్సర్ నెట్వర్క్స్ క్లౌడ్ కంప్యూటింగ్ బిగ్ డేటా అనలిటిక్స్ అండ్ ఎంబెడెడ్ సిస్టమ్స్ వన్ 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 ఇన్ ఈచ్ డీటెయిల్ విల్ సీ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ వైర్లెస్ సెన్సర్ నెట్వర్క్స్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ ఎస్ డబ్ల్యూఎస్ఎన్ సో వైర్లెస్ సెన్సర్ నెట్వర్క్స్ ఆర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అన్ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ డివైజెస్ ఎక్విప్డ్ విత్ సెన్సర్స్ డిసిగ్నేటెడ్ టు మానిటర్ ఎన్వైర్మెంటల్ అండ్ ఫిజికల్ కండిషన్స్ డబ్ల్యూఎస్ఎన్ కన్సిస్ ఆఫ్ ఎండ్ నోట్స్ రూటర్స్ అండ్ కోఆర్డినేటర్ so to understand this term we'll see the diagram this diagram consists of these are called as end nodes each end node consists of multiple sensors some from each sensor you will be getting multiple data continuously so the data from the sensors are coordinated to routers these are called as routers so the data from the end nodes are coordinated to routers and from routers data is transferred to coordinator coordinator is also called as gateway so all the data is stored in the server through internet this is called as wsn network so the routers are responsible are for routing the data packets from end nodes to the coordinator next type of technology is cloud computing to understand cloud computing we'll take a scenario if you want to start a it company physical infrastructure is required in this physical infrastructure cost of space is the major criteria if you consider any metropolitan cities like mumbai or delhi the space cost of space will be huge so uh, that is not affordable sometimes if you want to develop something so we can use the technology called as cloud computing cloud computing technology so to understand this cloud computing computing services computing services means technology is architectures like networks infrastructure storage all these computing services are provided by cloud service providers through internet this is called as cloud computing so cloud computing is a revolutionary computing paradigm where applications and servers are delivered via internet so if you are using cloud computing what are the advantages here is there is no need of physical server and you can check the scalability according to the applications if there is large application you can use large space in the cloud if small applications you can use smaller space so whatever you are using for what you are using you are going to pay that's why cloud computing is called as pay as you go model and there is no uh, there is no no requirement of separate team for maintenance or service in the same way there is no requirement for the separate team for security and protections these all can be resolved using cloud computing because cloud computing providers itself will provide all the computing services via internet so cloud computing services are offered to users in different forms you have different forms of services like software as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service software as a service is also called as saas s a a s so this service will provide access to the software for the client like for example if you want to use matlab then matlab service provider will give you access to your computer no need of you to install matlab in your system under this services client does not have any access to backend so they don't have any access to backend next cloud service providers will itself manage all the servers network storage and applications all these are taken care by the service providers example google workspace or google drive next type of service is platform as a service also called as pass p a a yes so in this service the user does not have control over underlying architectures like storage network and operating system so here sir uh, service providers 
give the ability to the users to develop and deploy customer created apps either using some programming languages or tool the meaning here is if you want to develop any android application you can develop it and uh, deploy it onto the platform like google store so basically platform as a service will provide us a platform next is infrastructure as a service also called as as iaas so in this the the user no need to worry about physical machine whatever he want to develop on the operating system or what are the applications he want to develop of his choice using the operating system everything he can do it on virtual resources on virtual machine like amazon web server or microsoft azure so these are the services provided by cloud computing if the user want to consume something then you can use software as a service if user want to build something use platform as a service if user want to host his application then use infrastructure as a service next uh, technologies big data analytics why we are going for big data analytics is whenever we are talking of iot iot consists of multiple sensors from each sensor you will be getting lot amount of data so the data is the main criteria here you will be getting data in a huge collection where uh, handling this huge collection of data or managing the data processing the data will be difficult using traditional database systems that's why we are going for big data analytics so basically big data analytics means it refers to some methods tools and applications used to collect process uh, and manage the data so data can be in a high volume high velocity or different types of variety of data can be there some examples if you see here in weather monitoring system sensors collect data will be in a huge or a large collection of data will be there in the same way health and fitness data generated by iot devices such as variable fit band in the same way data generated by iot systems for location tracking of a vehicle these are some of the iot infrastructure where multiple sensors are connected and every second you will be getting huge amount of data and next we'll see some of the examples or some of the companies which have used big data analy analytics so first if you take amazon amazon is using big data analytics to optimize themselves how they are going to optimize here is they are going to learn the requirements of the customers by providing recommender system suppose you are searching some item in the amazon then amazon will give you the recommended items based on this they will observe how how the customers are attracted to that particular item and how the competitors are doing based on that they are going to optimize themselves next type of companies marriott is one business hotel company here they are going to improve the experience of the user how you are going to do this is whenever the uh, uh, customers are coming to that particular hotel they are going to collect the facial recognition at a check in time based on that they will improve the experience of the user in the same way netflix is another example netflix will suggest what what the user want to see or what the user want to watch in netflix user will watch videos or some series so based on the user what are the type of the series or what are the type of the movies he is watching netflix will suggest it it will identify based on the user watching the video next is uber eats uber has started auto and in order to expand their business they have started uber eats just like swiggy and zomato and here the main thing that comes under big data analytics is volume velocity variety three important ways of big data analytics volume means here large amount of data which cannot be handled by traditional methods velocity velocity means it represents speed at which data is generated frequently variety variety is data can be in different forms so data can be in a text format video format audio format or sensor data so different types of data can be there that is called as variety 
last technology is embedded systems embedded system is a type of computer but the difference between the your personal computer and embedded system computer here is embedded systems are created for some special specific purpose so it has different parts like microprocessor memory unit networking unit input output units display unit keyboard unit and storage unit like flash memory examples examples here you can take any of the household applications like smart tv washing machine uh, any of the uh, smart watches all these comes under embedded systems so these are all different iot enabling technologies thank you